Welcome everybody back here on the Dark Avatar Games channel here on YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. Obviously, um, yesterday being Thursday, they had their live stream on Twitch for the first time in three years that Gun Interactive released a live stream on their channel. So, congrats to them for coming back. Um, it's been three years since F-13. Uh, live streams have been posted so uh, can't believe it's been that long since uh, we've had that game and everything you know and that game went a really long way um, it's sad that it ended the way it had to um, there was still some more content that was on the roadmap that we were supposed to get unfortunately we didn't get to that point but other than that they did a wonderful job trying to make sure that we uh, were able to keep playing this game of F-13. I know I haven't posted anything for a while. Um, I thought about doing another live stream um, for F-13 before they end up shutting it completely down. Um, but something to look forward to. But of course, we're talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, their new upcoming uh, multiplayer horror game. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and cut over to the intro, and we're going to talk more about it today. Welcome to the Dark Knight Road of Games channel here on YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. With all that being said, let's get right to the video. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, we're going to talk about Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. Uh, the live stream they had yesterday talking about the some of the stuff that was announced yesterday. So, uh, first things first, um, like I said at the intro, if you haven't already, please don't forget to smash the like button. And also, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I would like it if we could possibly, possibly hit it. Hit at least 500 subscribers before the launch of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. I think we could do it. It's possible, because I'm going to be posting more. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be posting more Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, news as soon as we get some more information, because I do know they were saying that they will possibly come out with some more information along the way before the release date, so that is something to look forward to. And I'm also, before I want to start talking about this today, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this. I am in the queue to receive a key, um, a code for an early access of this game. Uh, hopefully, we'll I'll hear more about that soon. Um, I know some people are saying they may not even get their keys until day the launch day, um, but who knows? We'll find out soon about that. Uh, but with that, we're going to go ahead and talk about it. So yesterday, live stream for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game, they, it was more of a discussion of how the perks work and the skill tree. So there is a skill tree and there are three, there are many routes you can go, obviously, but the main three routes you can go is up from your left, right, or up the middle. Now, the way they were showing, they just showed like going up the, up the left way of the tree um, so once you max out that side because when you do go one direction the rest of the areas are marked out so you can't go that direction after you've chosen the direction you want to go um, which we will get to why that is in a second but once you max it out there is the option there are five loadouts so you have loadouts and what you can do with this is you can actually restart a new tree uh, skill tree and go up the different direction you want to go the next time um, by doing this you do unlock all of the skills eventually um, but they are strictly towards that setup you already have um, so that's what your loadouts will be. Your loadouts will be actually your specific loadout of the skills you want to use for your character. 
because determining how things go, let's say you're going, you're new, you started getting your tree up and skills set up and everything, but you're going up against a family member or a family online that are like maxed out and they have like better perks, better skills than you do. That could have an effect on your gameplay because obviously they're more ranked up, their character's more ranked up, um, and they have better skills than you do. So certain skills you rank get are going to do better against the tougher family. So loadouts. So that is something you have to think about when you go and learn all these different skills when you unlock them is what works best for you. Um, and obviously you'll be able to possibly find out more from friends or ask people in Discord or whoever about which one's the best route to go. So you can figure things out with that. Um, I do think you might be able to go like through the middle and then possibly go over. So there's all these different directions you can go with the skill tree. So, and the family also has that ability. So obviously the family has that ability also, but also what's interesting with the family is the family can upgrade um, grandpa. So with those skills that they earn through their, skill, their own set of skill tree is that they can earn perks to better upgrade grandpa during gameplay, which makes obviously grandpa is pretty tough. He can actually seek out who's on the map and where they are. And could you imagine if there is a perk where Grandpa's completely like maxed out when you give him enough blood that the whole entire game, he can spot where you are. That would be tough, right? So the survivors need good perks and good skills to be able to hopefully beat the family team because they're gonna be pretty tough in that kind of situation. But overall, awesome stuff they showed off. I know a lot of people were probably looking for gameplay. That is not the case this time. They actually made it clear that they were just gonna talk about this stuff um, for their first stream back. Uh, they did talk about how they deal with uh, players that rage quit and disconnect. Now, a lot of people probably want them to do some type of um, way of getting onto these people for doing that stuff. Unfortunately, that's not the case. You can't really determine if somebody disconnected over rage quitting or they just lost connection. So they decided at gun to not take that approach and not penalize people for uh, disconnecting. So that is one good thing, I guess, in a way, um, because obviously if you di did that to punish people for disconnecting, you may end up making somebody mad that did not mean to disconnect. So that's a good thing to keep it that way. Um, but overall, awesome live stream. I'm looking forward to seeing more, um, live streams from them leading up to the launch and hearing more news. Um, especially looking forward to this game. I've already pre-ordered it anyways, just in case I did not get a code because the the key code would actually be my way of actually getting you all um, early access if I can. So, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I do have the game physical. I had a physical copy pre-ordered because I wanted the poster. Um, I'm a big horror fan, so I like collecting that stuff. Um, so with that being said, uh, ain't much more to talk about. As soon as I get more news about Friday the, or <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game I'm thinking about Friday the 13th. Um, as soon as I get more news about that, I will drop a video about that. Uh, stay tuned if I, I might post a Friday the 13th live stream. I might do something like that before launch of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So keep a lookout for that one too. And with all that being said, thanks for watching. And like always, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.